Welcome back to Six Hearts on Six Acres. I am going to be putting in a cut flower bed today that is going to be beautiful. Um, and it is actually a, a an actual bed because I have these, a headboard and a footboard that I'm going to be able to um, grow plants up. And it's just going to look so beautiful. And plus side for my garden, it's going to draw in all of the pollinators so that I have everything I need this summer to make sure that every single cucumber and squash and zucchini um, is able to be pollinated and just does excellent this year. So I had to start out by um, clearing some of the weeds out of this bed. We dumped a load of compost here and there were some seeds in that compost. I've cleaned a lot of it out already um, like two weeks ago but there's still a little bit more so I'm going to clean it up. Um, create some rows and get to planting. In this bed, I'm gonna be putting sunflowers, um, a, a long row of them in the middle. They're gonna grow tall. They're multi-head sunflowers, so they're gonna look beautiful. I'm gonna be putting cosmos. They are just kind of like a whimsy, pink, cottage garden style flower. I'm gonna be putting in um, straw flower and status flower and then zinnias. These are all cut and come again flowers besides the sunflowers, they're not. But the rest, you cut them and then they're just gonna keep growing more. Especially the zinnias, the more flowers that you cut off them, the more heads they're gonna throw out for you. These come in so many shades and colors and they are a really great addition if you would like to have bouquets in your house. Um, and the pollinators love them. So you're gonna have a huge amount of bees and butterflies and just all of the beneficial insects that will make your garden thrive. All right, that was easy enough. The weeds um, have been pulled up by the roots. My trusty little tool that I found in the house. I don't know what this tool is called. My husband told me that there was um, a tool out there that would do this job and this looked like good enough for me. I, although I've been gardening for lots of years, I really make use of what I have handy and what's laying around. Um, I don't know pro proper names or what things are actually supposed to be used for. Um, and I think that's what makes gardening for me sustainable. I am not somebody who does structure and order and um, this has to be used for this. I'm not that kind of person. And so I grab whatever is on hand and I make it work. I'm gonna use the same tool because it has this pointy end on it. So I'm gonna use it to go ahead and make myself a few rows and so I can get some seeds growing in this garden. One of my favorite flowers to grow in my garden is sunflowers. I have lots of different varieties here um, and we are gonna put just a mixture. I'm gonna go the, the two rows in the middle because sunflowers get really tall and these aren't your sunflowers that just grow one head. These sunflowers get big and beautiful like they're gonna be 10 to 12 foot tall a lot of them and they will have 20 to 30 heads on them. They, they uh, make my garden just absolutely gorgeous to look at from all points of view and they're gonna draw in so many pollinators and I'm gonna be able to cut them for bouquets and just really enjoy the beauty while I'm out here in the garden. I really like growing something lovely in my garden that keeps me coming out here. It just gives me a sense of joy and happiness to be out here in the garden and have something beautiful to look at while I'm here. So I'm gonna be planting some Italian white, some lemon queens, some Henry Wilds, velvet queen sunflower, and then I have sun gold tall and double sunking. I think these may actually be the same sunflower, but I'm gonna plant a few of each um, because I'm not 100% sure though. If they're not the same, they are very similar. I'm actually sitting here thinking, um, <clears throat> I did the rows the way that a bed would traditionally run, but now I'm thinking this direction here is east. And if I put these 12 foot sunflowers, they're gonna shade out everything on this side of the garden and they may even shade they may even shade what's um on my trellis a little bit and i don't want that so i'm going to change the rows and do them do them the other way really quick
All right, I have my rows going the opposite way, so now we can go ahead and plant. I think what I'm gonna do is just dump some of these sunflower varieties into my hands, kind of just mix them up and do two rows of those sunflowers. Um, so I have a variety of everything and they're kind of mixed together, or chaos style. That's the way I like to do things around here. You can see all of the different varieties of sunflowers I have here and how different all of the seeds look. And um, these are now going into the garden. All right, I just brought another tray of plants out here. These are flowers that I started by seed. This one is getting ready to bloom. Look how pretty it is. This is the silvery rose straw flower, and it is gonna be the prettiest color of just pale pink. These plants get pretty tall, um, and they will send off tons and tons of head. The more you cut them, the more they grow. So these will always have a place in my garden. I have a few different colors of them, and I'm just gonna start filling in the rows with just a, a, a variety of um, different plants. I have a straw flowers. I have some snapdragons. I have some asters. Some celosia. And some status flowers. So my arms are full. I have a whole bunch more down here. I'm going to start putting them in the garden next. I am constantly changing my mind. I'm actually going to go in with this tray of zinnias and some cosmos first. I think they'll get quite a bit taller than the other flowers, so I want them more on the outsides. Um, these zinnias are just a huge variety of colors. I have California Giants, which are all different colors, um, Queen Lime Red, Salmon, Peppermint, and Isabelina, and Polar Bear. So a big variety of colors that are gonna make my bouquets beautiful this year. All right, next I'm gonna go in with these snapdragons. <laughs> I just inhaled my hair. I pinched the tops off of these when they were short so they would separate and throw off um, not just one bloom, but a whole bunch of them. So you can see these are pretty bushy plants. When I did that, I took the top and I rooted it. Um, they have not grown a whole lot though since I did that, so I'm not gonna worry about planting just the tops. I am just going in with the ones that look beautiful. Our next row is going to be these beautiful straw flowers. I have copper red and silvery rose. Look at the roots on these things. I probably started them a little bit too early. They are pretty root bound. Um, if you purchase a plant like this or you grow a plant like this, what you want to do before you put it into the ground is just kind of tear off the bottom of those roots so that they don't just continue to wrap around the plant that they will go into the ground. And then just break it up just a little bit. All right, and then it's perfect for planting. These plants are called Russian status and they grow really tall fronds with like, they almost look like pink feathers. They're going to be super pretty. I've never grown them before. I've only seen pictures, but I hope that they really thrive in this garden. The and then these plants season. have, look how cool those leaves are. They have the neatest texture to them. These are called, um, yeah, that's what I thought they were. They're the apricot status. I grew these last year and they are the prettiest pink and they have yellow in them. They kind of remind me of like a strawberry lemonade. And then I'm gonna finish off the bed with a few celosia and some violet asters. I accidentally beheaded my aster. Um, I'm gonna take this, peel off some of these leaves, stick it in a cup of water and see if it will root. I'm not sure if it will or not, but 
Um, garden experiments are one of my favorite things, so we will find out. Hopefully it's not wasted. All right, that flower bed is planted. The middle looks a little bit empty right now, but as soon as those sunflower seeds come up, it's gonna look full and beautiful. Give it three months. This place is gonna look absolutely beautiful, full of color, full of butterflies, full of bees, and it is gonna be the prettiest spot in my garden. All right, the garden is in. The last thing I need to do is water it and watch it grow. We have rain over the next three days, so I'm just gonna give it a light water to take care of it until that happens. Um, and then in the next two to three months, I foresee this area being loaded with color and blooms and pollinators of every kind. I probably, <laughs> when, I probably spent um, about $20 on these seeds. They were not expensive. And every single one of the plants that I put in here today, except for snapdragons, it is okay to plant by seed in your garden now if you didn't already have those plants growing. So go get yourself some flower seeds and get a cut flower garden started in your vegetable garden um, to benefit your life in so many ways and to benefit really your garden in so many ways. Goodbye until next time.